We're just a stone's throw away from Arsenal's ground here. Of course, there is an Arsenal team in the latter stages of the Champions League. It's the women's team. Um, the men this year and, and, the, and the lack of success of the, of the English teams, has that damaged the reputation of, of English football? There, there, there's talk in continental newspapers and continental radio stations that the Premier League you know, isn't of the highest standard anymore. What do you say to that? Well, you know, it's, one swallow doesn't make a summer, I think, is the phrase that's often used. If you remember, you were interviewing me four or five years ago when we had three teams in the uh, Champions League semi-finals, and I was trying to tell everybody then, don't get too excited. This isn't here forever. It's only, you know, it's only temporary. The, you know, the biorhythms of, uh, of, of these things happening, these are knockout competitions. And you know how thin the margins are, how thin the margin was um, in terms of, uh, of some of our teams getting knocked out. Similarly, thin margins that our teams managed to get through to the last eight of the, uh, the, the Europa League. And so, you know, let's... Let's not uh, just take one season. I'm, I'm entirely confident that, that we will get back to the sort of trend we were on. We've had finalists in the last seven of the last eight Champions League. And I'm sure if we go forward eight years, we're going to see a fair few finalists from England and certainly semi-finalists from England in years to come. There's been lots of talk this week about that tackle at the weekend from Callum McManaman. Uh, we all know that possibly not the, the most satisfactory outcome was reached. The FA felt they were unable uh, to take retrospective action about that because they were applying the rules that were set. Now, those rules were agreed by all the stakeholders at the start of the season. Will you listen to a, a opinion now and try to get those rules changed for the start of next season so that in future a tackle like that will not go unpunished? Let's get this thing in the right order. We would hope that in future that's dealt with on the day by the match officials. And I understand if they don't see it, it's a tough job, and if they don't see it, they don't see it. But we would hope that they do see those incidents and they're dealt with on the day. So there is no need for retrospective action. Um, when it comes down to the, you know, the setting of, if you like, of the line, I don't think there's anybody at the Premier League, or perhaps maybe other than Wigan, um, would have criticised the FA had they just decided, even though that line might have been a very fixed line in their heads, which they may well be right that they've, that they've, that they've, that they've come down on the right, <coughs> the right side of the rules. <clears throat> I don't think anybody would have complained had they just stepped one inch over and decided this was an exceptional incident. And therefore, whether the rules need rewriting or not might be you know, unnecessary, because I don't think, I don't think there was ever, um, there would have been any resistance or very little resistance to them just, you know, just deciding that this was an exceptional incident and therefore they were going to deal with it. After all, what is an exceptional incident is something that gets treat treated as an exception and it could have been treated as an exception.